your hundo video on the Lunar Quasar 554. So at the start, got your apron, got your alcohol hitch and stabiliser. So the plug goes up, tow ball goes in, handle slots down, stabiliser pushes down to lock the tow ball into place. To release the tow ball um, stabiliser up, <coughs> black handle up, releases the tow ball. You've got your jockey wheel, handbrake, new brake cable, cable, 13 pin plug which goes into the back of your car. It does your outside lights and 12 volts of the fridge if your car is wired up correctly. <coughs> Inside your gas locker you have storage, you have two slots for two gas bottles, butane or propane. Bulkhead regulator, you have a 6kg propane bottle and propane regulator fitted. Around well, here we have your Truma flu and your Truma <coughs> water in there. So, it goes into the after all, boot your up, slot into the lock. So, battery locker, you have a 110 amp battery fitted, battery strap, two new terminals, two 30 mains inlet, and your motor mover isolation switch. We'll get to that last. <coughs> the back here, we have your two waste outlets from the sinks and the shower, sorry. Top here, well, bottom here, we'll start here. We've got your so obviously once you finish with the toilet and you open the switch to let it down, it empties up into your toilet cassette, which then you can pull out, take to a empty point and then slip back in. With the filler cap, you add your water and chemical, obviously for the toilet flush, as you can see, all the lot working, even your own light. Now inside the caravan, to the right hand side as you come in the door, you have your main control panel. So on the left here, you have your awning light, your master, which does all the 12 volt in the van, voltage in the caravan, light, so obviously that's just lights, but there you have got individual lights which turn on and off, pump. So when you turn that on, just make sure that is in the horizontal position so the water don't get out the bottom, and then you are able to open your tap. Obviously, once you first open it after it's been drained, you need to let all the air out the system in this tap and the two in the bathroom so one the sink and then your shower like so obviously once all the air is drained out of the system your pump will cut in and out as it should so obviously once you've got the tap open the pump will cut in you see a red led there and then when it is gone when it pumps cut out there you go the red led turns itself off. Underneath us here we have a Truma control panel. So on the left here we have your internal temperature. So you've got one, well zero to 30. Then you've got hot water so you can have it on eco hot or boost. Then obviously you've got your source, gas, gas and electric, gas and electric two. So obviously gas and one kilowatt, gas and two kilowatt. And you've got electric one and electric two. So one and two kilowatt there again your fan so obviously when you have your internal temperature turned up to a set degree you have an option to have eco high eco and high but when your temperature is turned off like so and you go on to your fan it will only give you the option to vent once finished hold this button in like so just for a few seconds and it will turn itself off. So under here, next to the drain off valve, we have your motor mover box, and we have your main, um, your consumer unit. So you have your main RCD, which I recommend you press the test button every time you connect to your power, just to make sure it's tripping correctly. Three MCBs and 12 volt fuses. Across from here, we have your Fetford um, free gas hob and electric hob on top, a gas grill and a gas oven. So obviously to ignite, all you would do is push in this knob here to the left and what burner you want, push it in like so, and obviously will ignite. With the electric hob, slightly different, same sort of thing. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six settings, one being the lowest, six being the highest. Obviously then that electric hob will get hot. With your grill, same thing, pushing this button here, 
some igniting and that will ignite your grill. grill. And then with your oven on the knob, push it in, choose what setting you want and then push it in like so and it will obviously light. Underneath your oven you have all your valves, so your gas for every appliance just in case you need to turn them off. And then behind me we have your Dometic fridge, so just turn it on, hold that button like so, power button, you have three settings, electric, gas or battery. So electric when connecting to mains, <coughs> gas obviously when connecting to gas, when you set it on the fridge will start ticking and obviously it will ignite. If it does not ignite, this triangle here will flash red and this icon here will flash blue. Obviously, if you've just turned it on, obviously it might not light for the first time. So obviously just press this warning light here. That obviously just resets the system or you can always turn it off and back on again and check your gas supply. When on battery, that's what it will look like if it's an error. It's not working now because we have no, no car on board. So obviously it would only work if your car is wired correctly and it will only maintain the temperature already in the fridge. To turn off, just hold this power button like so and that will turn it off. In the toilet, we have your Fetford toilet with an electrical flush. So obviously once you've done your business, you press this button here, and obviously all the water will flush into there like so. Once you're ready to empty, you've got a switch under here, well, a latch that you push away from you, which opens up the flap and closes again. The toilet cassette will only come out when the latch is closed. Before we demonstrate the power touch mover, we have two little pieces of paperwork just to go through. So we have your warranty cover here, what we cover, and obviously what we don't. And then your winterization sheet, so obviously how to winterize your caravan, as we would recommend. Now onto the power touch mover. On this caravan, you have a power touch motor mover fitted. So what you want to do is get your bar, put it on. There. So, and then engage it into the wheel, which we then should do both sides. We then are able to release the handbrake, like so. Then we'll turn your motor with a switch, push it in, and turn it clockwise. Now, on the controller, hold these two buttons in, like so. It will do a cycle like this. Now we are connected to the box. So now to go forward. So to go forward, goes forward, to go back, goes back. Let's bring the front to me, front comes to me, front away from me, and like I say, it just does as the arrows are directed on the screen. So now we're finished. To turn off the handset, hold these two buttons here like so, that turns the control, turns the controller off, then pull the handbrake up, turn the switch anti-clockwise, and then Gauge it from the world. Nice.